Chapter 34 Sheba In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful All praises and thanks be to Allah, to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. His are all praises and thanks in the hereafter, and He is the All-Wise, the All-Aware. He knows that which goes into the earth and that which comes forth from it, and that which descends from the heaven and that which ascends to it and He is the Most Merciful, the Oft-Forgiving. Those who disbelieve say, The hour will not come to us. Say, Yes, by my Lord it will come to you. He is the All-Knower of the Unseen. Not even the weight of an atom, or less than that or greater, escapes from His knowledge in the heavens or in the earth. But it is in a clear book, that He may recompense those who believe in the oneness of Allah, and do righteous good deeds, Theirs is forgiveness and a generous provision in paradise. But those who strive against our proofs, signs, and revelations to frustrate them, for them will be a severe and painful torment. And those who have been given knowledge, see that which is revealed to you, O Muhammad, from your Lord is the truth, and guides to the path of the exalted in might, owner of all praise. Those who disbelieve say, Shall we direct you to a man who will tell you that when you have become dust, then you will be created again anew? Has he, Muhammad, invented a lie against Allah, or is there a madness in him? No, but those who disbelieve in the hereafter are themselves in torment and in error. Do they not see what is before them and what is behind them of the heaven and the earth? If we willed, we could sink the earth with them, or cause a piece of the heavens to fall upon them. Surely in this is a sign for every faithful believer that believes in the oneness of Allah and turns to Allah in all affairs with humility and in repentance. And indeed we bestowed grace on David, saying, O you mountains, glorify Allah with him, and you birds also. And we made the iron soft for him, saying, Make perfect coats of mail, balancing well the rings of chain armor, and work with righteousness. Truly, I am all seer of what you do. And to Solomon we subjected the wind. Its morning was a month's journey, and its afternoon was a month's journey. And we caused a fount of molten brass to flow for him, and there were jinn that worked in front of him by the leave of his Lord. And whoever of them turned aside from our command, we shall cause him to taste of the torment of the blazing fire. They worked for him on what he desired, making high rooms, images, basins as large as reservoirs, and cooked in cauldrons fixed in their places. Work, O family of David, with thanks, but few of my slaves are grateful. Then, when we decreed death for Solomon, nothing informed the jinn of his death except a little worm of the earth, which slowly ate away at the stick on which he leaned. So when he fell down, the jinn saw clearly that if they had known the unseen, they would not have stayed in the humiliating torment. Indeed, there was for Sheba a sign in their dwelling place, two gardens on the right hand and on the left, and it was said to them, Eat of the provision of your Lord and be grateful to him, a fair land and an oft-forgiving Lord. But they were froward, so we sent on them the flood of Arim, and in exchange for their two gardens, gave them two gardens bearing bitter fruit, the tamarisk, and here and there a lot tree. This we awarded them because of their ingratitude. Punish we ever any save the ingrates. And we set between them and the towns which we had blessed, towns easy to be seen. And we made the stage between them easy, saying, Travel in them safely, both by night and day. But they said, Our Lord, make the stage between our journeys longer. And they wronged themselves, therefore we made them bywords in the land, and scattered them abroad, a total scattering. Lo, herein verily are portents for each steadfast, grateful heart. And Satan indeed found his calculation true concerning them, for they follow him, all save a group of true believers. And he had no warrant whatsoever against them, save that we should know him who believeth in the hereafter from him who is in doubt thereof. And thy Lord, O Muhammad, taketh note of all things. Say, O Muhammad, call upon those whom ye set up beside Allah. They possess not an atom's weight, either in the heavens or the earth, nor have they any share in either, nor hath he an auxiliary among them. No intercession availeth with him, save for him whom he permitteth. Yet 
When fear is banished from their hearts, they say, What was it that your Lord said? They say, The truth, and he is the sublime, the great. Say, Who giveth you provision from the sky and the earth? Say, Allah. Lo, we or you assuredly are rightly guided or in error manifest. Say, Ye will not be asked of what we committed, nor shall we be asked of what ye do. Say, our Lord will bring us all together, then he will judge between us with truth. He is the all-knowing judge. Say, show me those whom ye have joined unto him as partners. Nay, ye dare not, for he is Allah, the mighty, the wise. And we have not sent thee, O Muhammad, save as a bringer of good tidings and a warner unto all mankind. But most of mankind know not. And they say, when is this promise to be fulfilled, if ye are truthful? Say, O Muhammad, yours is the promise of a day which ye cannot postpone nor hasten by an hour. And those who disbelieve say, We believe not in this Qur'an, nor in that which was before it. But, O, oh, if thou couldst see, when the wrongdoers are brought up before their Lord, how they cast the blame one to another, how those who were despised in the earth say unto those who were proud, But for you we should have been believers. But those who were proud say unto those who were despised, Did we drive you away from the guidance after it had come unto you? Nay, but ye were guilty. Those who were despised say unto those who were proud, Nay, but it was your scheming night and day when ye commanded us to disbelieve in Allah and set up rivals unto him. And they are filled with remorse when they behold the doom. And we place carcans on the necks of those who disbelieved. Are they requited aught save what they did? And we sent not unto any township a warner, but its pampered ones declared, Lo, we are disbelievers in that which ye bring unto us. And they say, We are more than you in wealth and children. We are not the punished. Say, O Muhammad, Lo, my Lord enlargeth the provision for whom he will, and narroweth it for whom he will and most of mankind know not. And it is not your wealth nor your children that will bring you near unto us. But he who believeth and doth good, he draweth near. As for such, theirs will be twofold reward for what they did, and they will dwell secure in lofty halls. And as for those who strive against our revelations challenging, they will be brought to the doom. Say, Lo, my Lord enlargeth the provision for whom he will of his bondmen, and narroweth it for him. And whatsoever ye spend for good, he replaceth it, and he is the best of providers. And on the day when he will gather them all together, he will say unto the angels, Did these worship you? They will say, Be thou glorified. Thou art our protector from them. Nay, but they worshipped the jinn. Most of them were believers in them. That day ye will possess no use nor hurt one for another. And we shall say unto those who did wrong, Taste the doom of the fire, which ye used to deny. And if our revelations are recited unto them in plain terms, they say, This is naught else than a man who would turn you away from what your fathers used to worship. And they say, This is naught else than an invented lie. Those who disbelieve say of the truth when it reacheth them, this is naught else than mere magic. And we have given them no scriptures which they study, nor sent we unto them before thee any warner. Those before them denied, and these have not attained a tithe of that which we bestowed on them of old. Yet they denied my messengers. How intense then was my abhorrence of them. Say unto them, O Muhammad, I exhort you unto one thing only, that ye awake for Allah's sake by twos and singly, and then reflect. There is no madness in your comrade. He is naught else than a warner unto you in face of a terrific doom. Say, whatever reward I might have asked of you is yours. My reward is the affair of Allah only. He is witness over all things. Say, lo, my Lord hurleth the truth. He is the knower of things hidden. Say, the truth hath come, and falsehood showeth not its face and will not return. Say, if I err, I err only to my own loss, 
And if I am rightly guided, it is because of that which my Lord hath revealed unto me. Lo, he is hearer nigh. Couldst thou but see when they are terrified with no escape, and are seized from near at hand, and say, We now believe therein. But how can they reach faith from afar off, when they disbelieved in it of yore? They aim at the unseen from afar off. And a gulf is set between them and that which they desire, as was done for people of their kind of old. Lo, they were in hopeless doubt. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al Jariyah in Islam. Sadaqat al Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter. According to the hadith of the Prophet peace be upon him narrated by Muslim. When a person dies all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge and a child who prays for them.